So I wanted to give you a quick uh, review of this Robert Larson brand honing guide. Um, if you look around, you'll see there's actually many different brands selling basically the same design. Um, so first, just in case you don't know, you should know if you're watching this video, but um, chisels need to be sharpened in order to cut. And when you sharpen them, you um, have a bevel on the edge of the chisel. And you want to be able to do two things with the honing guide. One is to set the right angle that you're honing at on your stone or your diamond plate or sandpaper or whatever. And so the honing guide does this. And the second is you want to make sure that your edge is square, right? So if you have it, um, if you're doing it by hand, it's pretty easy to end up with a, um, a bit of a skew in the end of your blade. So <clears throat> that's what a honing guide is for. So according to the directions, um, there's two parts to it. There's an inner piece and an outer piece. So you have the outer piece here and the inner piece here. And for a plain iron, you would use uh, the larger jaws. And for a wood chisel, you'd use the inner narrow jaws. And what you can see them illustrating here is that the angle on the bevel um, can be set by how far out the chisel sticks out of the honing guide. So, um, pulling it out and taking a look at it, it's fairly simple. So you've got a roller on the bottom, which is going to run back and forth on your, uh, your stone or your, your diamond plate. You've got a screw, which you can use to adjust the width. And that's basically it. Um, so I'm not particularly happy with uh, these guys in general. The reason why is because, um, at least with the chisels on the inner, inner part, what you notice is that this is curved. And I'm not really sure, it, it looks like it was designed that way. I'm not really sure why, but what I've experienced, at least when I've tried to use this in the past, is that it wobbles quite a bit. So putting a chisel in, we're, we're locking it into the groove on one end, and then we're trying to tighten it up. And of course it doesn't stay in the groove. So we put it in there again. And then we're trying to <laughs> have it in the grooves on both sides but what's happening is that it doesn't there we go okay so now we're in the groove on that side where it's straight and on the curved side we're also in the groove but this is still a bit loose okay so I try and tighten a little bit more but for some reason it, it's a bit loose and I, I attribute this to the the curve being here I think it'd be easier to get it tight and have it not wobble if, if this was straight I don't know um, the other issue I have is depending on the angle that you want to hone, um, just if you take a look at how this is clamped in here, uh, you see that there's not a lot of room in the notch for, for the side of the chisel. And so um, I have a lot of trouble getting it in there and then having it stay in there unless you get it really, really tight or, or use some other tool to crank it down and then hopefully it stays put. Um, so for me, I found it comes loose uh, due to the curved piece. It will wobble back and forth, which then leads to a skewed edge. Um, or it's just not even in the thing straight in the first place. The other problem with this is because you only have this single wheel on the bottom, um, when you're honing, it's it's fairly easy to um, accidentally get some some wobble in there. It's, you know, so you have to be very careful to say, okay, stay right on the roller, because if I come off at all, then I'm gonna put skew into the tip. Um, so yeah, so these are cheap. Uh, honing guides, but to be honest, um, my experience with this one, I think you're better off maybe doing it by hand uh, than than using this particular guide. There are better guides out there um, that I found, um, and one of them is the uh, Veritas from Canada, which looks like this. And I'll make another video at some point and show you why I like that one better. That is all. Thanks.